Abend. Welcome to Home or Drink Extra Juice. This is our bonus episode where we get to be a little bit looser. Woo! Last time before <laughs> we changed it was just full dilemmas. Yeah. And it was a lot of dilemmas every week. A lot. It was a lot. We want to be just a bit more not structured. A say more a bit more what's on our mind. Opinionated. Things that we wouldn't say in the main episode. Yeah. And things that you hopefully want to hear every week. Mm-hmm. Um, so you might have listened to our first episode back after a break. And if not, make sure to go back and listen. Um, we have new segments in that as well, if you haven't heard that yet. So if you want to listen to new segments, yeah, have a listen. You want to hear why we actually took our break. The, the real, real yeah. the real reason. And yeah, we have, we've done a questionnaire as well with like people suggesting things that they want to see. Um, there was a lot of like people want to see like listener interaction more. Yeah. And we want to get you involved as well. 100%. Like it's, it makes it a better experience for us. Yeah. And also to have some new segments. Mm-hmm. So in saying that, our first new segment is Rant of the Week. <laughs> we haven't actually made a song. For we it. don't have jingles for anything. No. I tell Shirley we should, but maybe you can sing it. Absolutely not. You're the singer. No, I'm not yeah, singing. Come yeah, on. Jingle. Rant of the Week. There you go. Rant of, of the, the Week. week. Pa, no. Pa. no. It reminds me of like a child song. Like a... Reminds me of a show on Nick- yeah, Nickelodeon years ago or something. Exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. So, no. Um, my rant of the week, I already know, it came to me straight away. Did it? These, now, a lot of these, by the way, this is the episode where we get to be a bit looser. Yeah. We're going to be saying things that are, a lot of the time, first world problems. Oh, yeah. We know they're not a big deal. No. But, it's just, and we will say that every week, but just to preface that, like, we don't want to say something that's, it's not harming anyone, it's just our little rant, and then people have something, like... Yeah, people can agree with it or not. And like, it's just exactly, a, safe, yeah. a safe space to give out about something. Yeah. Just just to get it off your chest. Exactly. Because yeah. we all need, like stuff you'd say in your group chat of like, girls, I'm raging. Even, it could be nothing. Yeah. But it's just a safe space. To mm-hmm. Mine is that my other phone got stolen. Shit, yeah. I already know it's first world problem that I'm saying other phone. So basically, yeah. <laughs> that, that, it sounds terrible, but I didn't actually mean to have two phones. So I bought... A phone for myself. I had the old phone. I was planning on selling that one. And I got the new phone. And I was like, this is really too crystal clear. I can see every single pore on my face. It's changing the, the pictures on the on the camera and all. Like, it was just... It kept changing the lighting all the time. Yeah. So I went back to my old phone. You did. But I kept the new phone then. I was like, I don't want to be selling that. I'll just use it for work. And it was actually handy having two. Because if I'm... If I'm have my stuff up recording, I can't move the phone. I can still like, go back to, like, work stuff or, like, yeah. friends, whatever. So I kept that and I was doing film just videos on it. So I brought it to France with us. Mm-hmm. Went to, oh, I forgot about to talk about that. We didn't even mention France. Yeah, we went to Tomorrowland. See, we have so we much co- to yeah, catch us with up Coca-Cola. on. Coca-Cola. And we, yeah, so I left my phone in the hotel room. It didn't move from there. I left it on the bed and I left without it. Packed up my stuff. Weren't even hung out or anything. No, we, we just we hadn't even went out the night before. We were we, were we quite stayed tired. in my room. Yeah, we stayed in Ellie's the and night before. Yeah, and I left the phone in my room, and I only realised when I got home I had to go on to it because actually I actually need two phones as well for work because my bank accounts because you can't go yeah. into two bank accounts on one phone. Oh, I've traded so, them. Yeah. So yeah. First of all, but I just already know terrible. people are kind of yeah no no it sounds it does it sounds who but the I hell? didn't mean yeah. to have two two phones. It's just how it turned out with the. But going back using my 13 that I have now and the ra- that's not even the rant The rant, it's just the rant of someone stole the phone out of the room so whoever went in the phone af- the room afterwards I don't know was it a cleaner I don't know was the next guest but the next oh. it wouldn't have been there for the next guest so I'm guessing oh. it was whoever I don't know kept up the room or cleaned, cleaned the room and took it and I realised when I got home that it was gone thought it was it wasn't where I thought it was. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck, I never saw that one. That was in your suitcase, did you? I thought it was in a green bag in my suitcase and yeah. it wasn't there. So I, went, I was like, fuck, I went out to find my iPhone. There it was in France, not in where we stayed, an hour from where we stayed yeah. in Grenoble. Down in the village, like? Down in the village, and which is like a whole hour away. And it was just pinging off different signals. and kept When you pressed around. that though, would it, would, would it have alerted the phone? It's meant to, but I think you have to be close to it or closer. Oh. I don't know you mean a different country. Okay. But it wouldn't connect for me, it wouldn't work. Um, but the, the rant isn't even that the phone's gone. I don't care, give a shit about the phone. It's that, why the fuck, when people find something that's not theirs, do they keep it? 
Yeah. This has happened to me with so much. I've lost a necklace before. I lost a ring before. I've lost a phone. I've lost loads of little bits. I'm like, why? Like, if you find something, just give it back. Yeah. Just give it in. Is it not your first instinct instinct to try and get it back to the owner? Yeah. Yeah. Like just make sure that, just don't go out of your way. Just give it to reception. Like you're probably walking by reception anyway. Yeah. You don't need to pocket my phone yeah. or. I hear that was left in the room. Yeah, and everything I've ever found, I've went out my way. Even like driver's license, I've found people on Facebook and like text them and all. Yeah. But like, no one ever gives my stuff back. They just wanted a new. And that's phone. what pissed me off. Yeah. I don't care about the phone. The phones can't use blacklist anyway. You can't use it, but can you not? No. So what happens if they try and turn it on and all that? Sure, now? there's a way they can crack it, whatever. I, but I don't think my like my stuff would be off it, but yeah, they'd have to like restart the phone. Just pissed me off. You really did try to get it back. I was gonna go to Grenoble. You were gonna go to Grenoble for a day, just cause the audacity. Like I don't care the value of the phone is nothing. I just want my phone. Give me my. It's mine. Yeah, it's my. It's like, yours. Personal. Yeah, I feel like a phone especially is so personal to you. Like yeah, no, I would. I mm. die. I just be thinking of people being able to get into it. I've now. never lost my phone before. I definitely have. Well, I didn't lose her. It's corrupt. It's my new personality trait and I was just absolutely leaving my phone anywhere. Really? Oh my God, I don't know what's happening. I really don't. I was out on Sunday night and my f- I couldn't tell you how many different people have my phone at different stages. No. I'd be like, where's my phone? And some random person would be like, I have it for you. I'll just hold on. I'd be like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I feel like I've held it for you before. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. like, thanks. Yeah, you keep that. Yeah, yeah. Don't know. I just, I leave it down. I Better than... Go don't know why I do that when just random people have it and I'm like thanks so much you hang on to that for me you're the best you'll be seeing it on by my iPhone yeah. running around the place <laughs> oh yeah phone yeah, gone that's my rant of the week so sad I know it's a first world issue but yeah it's but my it's a valid issue you're allowed to have yeah do you know what I mean yeah and that's what this is about just little things that are irky yeah but not enough to like actually fully be annoyed about yeah, it's just playing with all the time. Yeah, you need to give out about it once, and then and then you're done. It's like, yeah. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, that is all you need. Just to really feel like somebody else says, you know what happened me too. Or they so say, annoyed. Or they say, you know what? Yeah, valid. You're right. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the friend who just agrees, even you're if just, it's so yeah. invalid, you're like, yeah, you just yeah, want yeah. someone to agree with. Yeah, you. yeah. Okay, my rant of the week is to do with construction. Yes, I'm really. I'm really ranting about construction this week. Yeah. I'm really pissed off at how skinny they make car parks. The, Why? And the barriers going out. Oh my God. The barriers going out. Or do you ever see if there's a car park where you have to like go up a level or down a level? And do you ever look at the wall and you just see scrapes the whole way across the wall? Yeah, that's not right. Maybe just don't make it that small. Like, Why do they do that? I don't know. Is it to fit more cars in to make more money? Is that what it is? Probably. But even at that, like the... like. Say, for instance, today, we're, we park in a car park. The space that I'm in, the space that I'm in now mm. was the last space left on that row, but they still painted like a half a space beside it. Who's parking in there? Nobody better try and park in that. It's not even a real space. It's only a little, a little half one. Like, my rant is, why do they make... a motorbike. No, but it's not real. It's like on the edge of a oh. turn. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I don't get it. My rant is, why do they make car car parks so absolutely minuscule yeah. I know some people who genuinely don't like parking in them I done it before and I scraped the whole car off the Did side you? of a pillar no it was only starting driving I was very bad but some man had to jam it out oh no it, Hell. when I hear I did it the other week coming out of a car park and just that noise like I just wanted to sit there for a second and cry yeah. and just say do you know what yeah fuck you curb you like wish you didn't do it. No, I just I just wish I it's re- back I turn back time. time. <laughs> I wish I'd get out of the car and back and looked at my wheel and said, you know what, Ellie, that alloy is really close to that curb. You're gonna I know. scrape the absolute arse out of it. Like a little you could freeze and then yeah. something just held it. They just make them tiny. Yeah. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah. Why? That's annoying. They're kind of scary to drive around now sometimes. They are scary. I'm like, ooh. The amount of times I scrape my alloy. How do you? On your car now? No. Sometimes it's not worth getting fixed right away though. I'm just not ever going to get fixed. Why? <laughs> Why would I? I'm just going to do it again. Okay, but Are you never right. going to get fixed? No. Shut up. No. Do you think this annoyed me more because this is the first, I think it's the first time I've had black al- alloys. 
and you mind. notice it so yeah. much. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. mind. The old car I had, I had for three years, mm. didn't scrape one of them once. But I think that was because I paid for them. Well, I paid for this car, obviously. But like, I, I paid pur- purposely to change them because I didn't like them originally. Aww. So purposely paid to change them. And I really took yeah, care. Yeah, but the car that you had was your first time driving that One of your first time driving that car. So maybe it was just the size difference. No, it's the same car. It's a different colour. Oh. <laughs> I know, Charlie was trying to make me feel yeah, better. I know. No, just, literally same car. what when you rant you need. Different colour. It was all the car park's fault. I'm blaming the car park. That's yeah. my rant of the week. It wasn't my driving skills, absolutely not. Are you mad? And God, it wasn't. Pilot. I left my phone on the bed. No, God, it was never anything no. to do with either of us. <laughs> no, absolutely not our fault in any shape no. or form. It's the car park and the robber. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just wish I didn't leave the phone in the bed. I just wish I didn't scrape the whole alloy off the curb. <laughs> off the curb. Oh, okay, <laughs> <lives>. honestly. <laughs> so, if you agree with our rants, <laughs> let us know. Don't it don't even bother if you don't. Yeah, if you don't, just don't even tell <laughs> yeah. us. We don't. <laughs> no, we don't obviously care. you can you can chime in on home I drink at goloudnow dot com. Oh. Um, or if you have a rant as well, or something that we can we can rant about, or if you agree with our rants and say, do you know what, Ellie? Yeah, them car parks are. Tiny. Yeah, and do you know what, Charlie? Yeah, them robbers are fuckers. Bastards. Fuck. I don't even curse. Fucking you never fucking, curse. It's so Fucking funny. fucking bastards. I never. It's like, do you know what you should do? That fucking, that challenge in the bathroom where they leave their, I should do it with you. Where I, I say, you just curse now, loads, because nobody ever hears you curse. I'd say, what would you say? Do, who are you saying it to? You just say it to You're just out. getting it out of your system. You're just saying every bad word you know. But a lot of the kids are so cute. They're just like, fuck shit. Shit yeah, fuck. I know. Fuck, it's fuck it's shit shit. And then they're like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, they're like, mom, <laughs> that's it now. And you're like, okay. No, I should do that. You really should. I wouldn't know what to say. You're not a cursor. No. Not at all. Fucking robbers. Yeah. <laughs> um, If you also have, yeah, like I said, if you have a rant or a rant topic that you want to give us, and we can rant about it for you. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's things coming every week that we Yeah, if you want about. us to just chime in on it and doesn't necessarily have to be something that happened to us directly. No, yeah. But it can be to you. Um, then we have a new segment called If I Was You. It's kind of like Six from the Stalls as a sister. Mm-hmm. But it's basically if you have a dilemma that you don't think is, isn't is serious enough to send in for Six from the Stalls or phone a friend, this is your time to shine. Yeah, a lot of our Six from the Stalls in the main episode are 90%, 99% of the time are relationship based. Yeah. So if you have one that you want to send in that isn't necessarily solely on a relationship, like or or it's like a funny dilemma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, something that you don't feel doesn't fit the main episode but over here. Yeah. In the bonus, could be something silly as well. Yeah, of course. Like, should I wear pink or red shoes? Yeah, and we'll just say, well, if I was you, I'd wear the pink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all of these I'm sending to our email address. So it's home I drink at now dot com. This is the only way we take in. Anything really mm-hmm. podcast. So apart from the phone a friend advice. Yes. That'll be on our stories. Um but this is the dilemma. So I'm excited to see what this mm. silly slash funny dilemma is. <laughs> hey girls. Silly girls. <laughs> silly girl. silly girl. Goofy. Goofy. Hey girls. Love the pod and hope you're both doing well. I feel a little silly. Goofy. Oh. Sending this email as everything is is well amazing. However, this is the one thing I keep thinking about year after year. I met my current boyfriend slash parents when I was 18 and at the beginning of my leaving search. Many years later, we're both 26 now and have a beautiful relationship. Two houses, two houses wow. together. Wow. And are so happy together. Since I'm getting older in my life, my mind keeps drawn to the question of marriage. Even though I don't really need to marry this man as he is my world, my everything, who I keep falling more in love with every day, I still seem to hope when the ring is coming or then, on the other hand, ask myself if I need to be married at all. Have either of you ever thought about this? Is the big wedding day slash engagement ring that important? Is it needed? I have everything I could ever want, but for some reason think, oh, would be lovely for my parents to see their daughter get married. For con- context, my boyfriend is German. Oh. And I'm Irish and marriage is not a huge deal in his family in comparison to my family. However, in saying that, he would always happily get married. Thanks, girls. Hmm. So they met eight years ago. Maybe it's coming, girl. Maybe it's on the way now that it's on your brain. It's like your way of the world telling you, prepare. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, if I was you. Also, when we tell this advice, we're going to say, literally, we're not going to give you probably both sides of 
see the way in advice we usually be like, oh, you could do this or this. Or this, we're gonna yeah. just be like, if we were you and yeah. your shoes right now, what what would we do? Okay. I'm if I was you, and I hadn't have had the conversation already about marriage with him, I'd start. I think start off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Start dribbling it in somewhere like. Well, not even dribbling. I'd be like, when are we get engaged, like. Yeah, just act like yeah. The fact also he said though that he would happily get married. Yeah, maybe it is on the way. But like me and Dan have had their conversation. We both know. I'm just waiting. Like I'm not waiting. Yeah, I don't. Want, I wouldn't be living together first anyway. But he knows that as soon as we live together, I'll be expecting the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you pick your own ring or what? No, I don't know. Actually, I think they pick, pick mine. Really? I need a valid first, and then. And what do you mine. do on the day then? You get a token ring. Oh. Mm. A lot of people do that. That would be nice. So what do you just trade it in, or you just keep the token ring? I think you keep it. I don't know actually. I think you keep it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he buys like a big. I'll just show him it when I want, and he can just get it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, if I was you, I would just be like, "When do you see us get married?" Because I'm guessing wedding is on the cards. If he what he would like to get married, you want to get married. You could be like, "Oh, when do you reckon we'll get married? When do you reckon we'll get married?" Like. Mm. I'd say it like that. When do you think is the right time for us to get married? We're two houses in, like we're together eight years. Yeah, because he when... might turn around and be like, oh, f- oh you want to f- get married? Yeah, never knew that. Yeah, even though I'm sure they've had that conversation. Yeah. I... Do I think a wedding is important and get married? I feel like nowadays it's not. It's not as much. No, back in the heyday, it was you had to be married to even sleep or sleep with your fella. Like, don't yeah. You think there was... There was like rules about mm. being married you had to be married to be able to do certain things whereas that's obviously not the case now it's very personal I think If I would like to get married personally but yeah, personally, I, think, me, I don't yeah. think it needs to be a big huge wedding cause oh wedding my god no can't wait different. no I, no, I, I want to say but I don't think it needs to be that oh yeah it doesn't need to be no 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 mm. many people that I know that just do the registry office mm-hmm. and all and just mm-hmm. do like mm-hmm. and sometimes they look even nicer the little intimate like Small, we're married, oh, doesn't need to be a big deal. Yeah. Not spending fucking thousands and thousands of euro on a one day. I get that as well. But oh my God, I cannot wait to have... I want a carnival at mine and all. Magic. I just, Walters. Oh my God. <laughs> I want my wedding to be just a big fuck off wedding. Cooly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I want people to talk about that and say, see the size of that thing? And have like the wedding album and all. Oh like. yeah, I want everything. A three dayer. I think... I think, like I said, I would, if I was you, I would just be say like, it. when do you think we're going to get married? That's a, yeah, that's Maybe a good way of on, saying it. put on something like a, I don't know. A white so tuna. Deep, no. <laughs> and say, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? Ooh. Or like a, a film when I get married or like a wedding TV show or something. It's easy to do. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that What's that one? 27 Dresses. Or the one where the two best friends, they're both get married at the same time and they both have to pick there's a fuck up with the venue and they're both in on the same day to get married in the same venue Never and they have that. to decide between each other. Bride Wars. Bridemaids? Oh, Bride, Bride Wars. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Put that on. Oh, bed. I think Jeez. I have. Imagine Is that. it the blonde girl that's in it? Yeah. Her name. Yeah, and she dyes her hair blue accidentally. Yes. Yeah. Put on something like that and be like, oh my God. When do you think we're going to merge? Yeah. I think you just need to have that conversation. I think, see if it's important. Like you said, it's not really important to you, but I think it's getting important to her because it's not being... It's not being done or talked about. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you the, can't really envision it in the future, it's like, oh, you always want something. Not that you can't have necessarily, but yeah. because it's not an active thing that they talk about, I feel like she's like, oh, oh there's a longing for it. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I think just, yeah, if I was you, that's what I'd do. What would yeah. you do? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, just just mention it. Just say off the cuff, like not even a big sit down. It doesn't even need to be that big. Like, mm. I just be like, yeah. Why don't you think it's the right time for us to get married? Yeah. I think when you're with someone that like, long, ah, I'm never that. marrying you. What are you on about? You could even just say it in bed one night. Like, just be like, yeah. And he's like, what? <laughs> Where's my When ring? are we getting married? <laughs> yeah. Or even be like, oh, someone asked me the other day, was when are we getting engaged? Haha. <laughs> was a wedding on the cards? Yeah. yeah. Start bringing all your old people in your family around. I feel like they always ask questions. They'll like ask. Them. Get your mom down yeah. and ask them. They'll always do shit like that. Coach your mom When are you getting married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Perfect. Lift. Great. Yeah. Perfect. So you can send in your dilemma, your first world problem or rant to homeodrink at goloudnow.com and we can answer them. And again, it's stuff that like you wouldn't necessarily write into the main episode of like very serious things, yeah. things you're really upset about. It's more like little, 
little things you, you just want somebody else's perspective on. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, could be as silly as a fashion choice. Could be anything. Or what, fa- what foundation should I use? Literally anything you want. Anything at all. Yeah. So new episodes of Home or Drink X Juice come out every Monday and our main episodes are out on Wednesday. You can also watch our main episodes. Yay. On YouTube, which is really, really, really exciting. <laughs> Make sure to like, rate and subscribe on whatever podcast platform you are currently listening to. And we'll talk to you soon, Bertz. Yep. Love you. Love you. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.